Hi, welcome to this awesome machine. Now, just joking, it's Arc Linux, and we've done some stuff with some theming, and another new wallpaper came in. It actually kind of still fits the red with all this sci fi. Now, the video is about Zorin OS. When I press Super F7, everything is already installed. VirtualBox is ready to go. With the template that we set once, see that everything is correct. VBox, VGA should be correct. How many CPUs are you giving? How many RAM are you giving? And then you just clone it. So let's see if the Sardi and the Surfing icons are okay on Zorin OS. It's of course not the paid version. It's the free version, the core version that I've used. Zorin OS 15 core, 64 bit. Everybody is leaving the realm of 32 i'm just having taking a look at how it's going to boot up so splash no mode set is what this option is save graphics and this one with a tap you can read it a little bit more quiet splash that's simple that modern nva uh, sorry nvia uh -huh. then he is pointing to something called nvidia zorin Okay, and check the installation for defects, power off. Okay, so I'm gonna take the first one. This is VirtualBox. I suppose the first option will work in VirtualBox since I've never ever installed Zorin. And it's the Calamaris installer. It's um, anyway looking very similar. Might be not. Nah, might be wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna install it because using it on a virtual um, system is not the way to evaluate the system, I know. But staying in a live D isn't for sure not the right way to do it. So you need, really need to install it uh, on the virtual machine and, and let it do its thing. But I know it's much better to install it on SSD. So some options that we can use. Erase disk, something else. Okay, install now. Always going for the simple solutions without frustrations and without issues. Definitely really looks like Calamaris, but design wise, maybe something. Well, let's see how we, what it looks like when I log in. And normally we can click here a little bit and start reading. So, UB user setup, depth, com filter. So we're definitely on Debian. Kind of looks like that. I really haven't looked at uh, the website, uh, what it's based on. Just downloaded it and gonna have a look. So, these things we have these things as well set xb map it's just linux guys stop thinking in boxes it's all and at the, at the end we get a system that works with the kernel and with packages that are very similar if sometimes not just exactly the same that's the no further i can scroll no further so scrolling all the way back he's setting the user up UB user setup swap file here time zone everything is called UB UB time zone I did say it could download stuff, so he's retrieving files. Luckily, I have a fast internet. Now, this is really a pass-through system, which I personally kind of like, you know. My vision, just install the thing rather than stay on this live DVD environment. But this looks like it's GNOME some version of it 
because there are different kinds of GNOME versions. But I really can't do anything per se, so there's no menu popping up. So it is really created as a pass through environment for you to install this. Group EFI, default group. Is removing stuff. Some are common. Wow. Okay. Update it in its RAM file system. Ubuntu. If I was still in doubt what it was. With this ubiquity, UB. Version configuration files. He's generating that one. Log, 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 log. Oh no, again, downloading packages. 20 seconds remaining. That does, does not look good. It does not look good. It's hanging. Can we skip? I'm gonna try. Okay. <laughs> Installation is complete. Fine. Restart now. That's a nice effect. Please remove, press enter. Let's see if it's still in there. So this is virtual box. Just wondering if I just press return, what will happen at this point in time? I see nothing happening. It's freezing. Ah, it is not freezing. And we have lift off. I hope there we are. Nice little graphic. Maybe a sound, which I can't hear at the moment. I'm expecting a sound. Looks like GNOME that I've installed. Let's see. Right, so let's have a look. Calculator, clocks, maps, yeah, weather, it's GNOME, all right. Games, mm-hmm. Graphics, GNOME, Shotwell, Simple Scan, Internet, Firefox, and oh, was this one again? Remina RSS or something? Oh, yeah, there's a, this the remote desktop thingy, which you use once a month or twice a month. Choose, yeah, okay. System tools, startup. Applications, Zorin appearance. We're really gonna need that later on for the icons and utilities. Okay, great. Let's lock, let's log out, let's power off. Is there that one, that one, what's this one? Getting flat pack metadata. Okay, and this is that one, and that is that one. Uh huh. There's an updater already, already telling me I should update some stuff. All right, install. So this looks like it's uh, the GNOME applications. Huh? The GNOME, how do you say? How's it called again? GNOME software, and it's rebranded as a Zorin thing. Fine. All right. Let's get the icons in and see. I have to make some icons. So, Sardi icons download. That's what people would normally type, I think. SourceForge is the place to be. We've made an update. I accept. I accept. He's taking slow to accept me. Files. So, 
a few days ago where's my clock here's a clock and a calendar 17 the 8th so a few days ago i've made this one due to a token application that was uh, there just out of the blue a new icon a new application that's one thing maybe i should get the other one as well nah well the other one is surfing icons if you want to have that one it's on github so github are the work colorful icon theme for linux desktops some videos you can have a look at i've made some photos some some pictures here how it can look back in the days that i was still on linux mint so download that zip as well save okay done and done then we need to go to our download uh restart later is good we need to go to our download rather to extract here and that's that one and extract here that's cool now let's see if this works that works fine and then i'm gonna do i want a new one new folder new document new window is what i want a new window a new window a new window new window fine found it and then Control h is working new folder dot icons is working double click Control a woof move surfing master surfing icons Control a move that's done and now we need to get to this appearance thing that i saw zorin appearance so we can have this we can have that we can have this how do i click on it what's the difference okay so this is a little bit bigger than that one and this is looking like that okay let's stick with the normal one icons on desktop is good we can home we can trash and mount it i agree that i'd rather keep my desktop clean to the right is what we're used to the left we can do as well theme accent color okay i like a dark so that's a neat little trick and this is probably going to voila going to find where i'm at and saying okay since you live there i'm gonna make it dark because it's night it's your place um let's keep everything as is for now see you later fonts windows titles applications panel theme back to the theme back to the icons sardi flexible arc all right let's have a go so everything is blue that's okay i want to have the menu where i see all the icons i think that's not there so look let's go over one by one games graphics internet office yeah sound and video okay system tools aha uh -huh. one to create Zorin and utilities so the Zorin of course I don't have an icon that's called Zorin appearance so we need to figure out what this one is I need to take a look at the settings as well oh that's without icons no problems there then oops nope okay fine Okay, and the details. All right, so it's Zorin applications that I should check out. So one is going to be in computers, user, share, and then applications. Eric, why just look for it or just double click it now? 
make it bigger. This one we don't see. That's a good thing. But this one we do see. So we have to open it. And open it like that. I need to open it with something else, with other applications. Okay. Oof. Few well applications. Text editor. Select. Select. So I need to create a Zorin appearance link to something called appearance. That's basically what I need to do. Make a link, link ln minus s something and then Zorin appearance. So that's okay, not a lot of work. This guy we don't see. These guys can be fixed. We don't see them either. We don't see them either. We did not see them. If anywhere there should be in utilities, but we don't see them. But we can fix them if it bothers you with... Um, and this one as well. Hey, this should be normally HP. So for some reason not showing in the menu, because it normally does. And Thunderbolt is another one. But these guys have, they have an icon, but it's just not in the menu. So we don't bother with it. Things that do not appear in the menu won't break the theme. But this one will, this one will. Okay, fine. So that's it for me. What can I do more? Maybe something uh, as a look. Let's go and uh, change to, let's see if this works here. Does that background? No, we should really use the Zorin appearance. Let's put this guy somewhere else. We can put an add to favorites. Where do we see him then? If I click here, where are my favorites then? I guess is here what favorites are. Uh, theme. I just wanted to have, take a quick look at surfing. Surfing. Papyrus gray. Let's go for uh, also a black one. And we have look like this then. Well, that is strange. This is bluish rather than grayish on my screen, which uh, is a bit strange. I did not expect that. nicer okay so it still has this bluish theme selected let's quickly have a look so this looks like this the settings look like oh wrong settings the settings look like this uh, even another wrong setting I was expecting of course XFCE settings which is not working here, obviously. So there are some icons in here, of course, but sporadically. All right, so this is another look. We can go in here, go in here, go in here, go in here, like this. And you'll have an idea what to expect on Zorin OS. All right one icon to create and that's it for me i'm out